about 3 20 3 30 a.m we're gonna get in a push day for you guys um i wake up so early now for the gym because that's when it's perfectly dead um so i can actually get some good content out there ignore my shadow i know i look like um an zombie actor from the walking dead but it's just because my bags are the um starring actress act act actresses um so yeah we're gonna get in a push day uh we're about to get changed we're gonna fix up my lunch for um today what all that i need to have because i will not be coming back home so i need to make sure i have every single thing that i need today um and then we're gonna be at the gym so We'll see you when we're at the gym. Get into it. Sorry. Sorry. Also still working on my um intro. I always I wanna I wanna step in with Hey guys, welcome back to JFit TV. But I feel like that's too much. Is it too much? Let me know in the comments. Does JFit TV just kind of fit it? Just does it work or does it not toss into the garbage, you know? Okay, let's get it. Alrighty, dry. we have made it to. Okay, dark or light? Okay, little man, don't watch me. Um, we have made it to the gym. Um, I'm gonna show you the fit once I get in there. Um, I don't know why I had to update you guys. You guys really want to get to the workout. But yeah, I'm about to show you the fit and then we're gonna get into the workout. Period. We are not Nike sponsored, but we have Nike on today. Nike Sports by Nike Pros. And then the most beloved Chucks. And then this is an Aeropostale sweatshirt that I got years ago. Um, so we're about to go get our push day started. We're gonna get a quick warm up in. And then we'll get it on a ball, on a ball, a ball. We'll get it ball, we'll get it, we'll get it rolling. Okay. Alrighty, I'm gonna get right into it. Um, this is starting off with bench press. Um, I went to at least, I think it was 65, um, and my one rep max is 75. So I was able to rep out 65. Um, sorry, there's something in my eye and I'm really trying to get it out. But um, not that it has anything to do with me talking. But I was really discouraged during this entire set. I don't know why I was really anxious this morning. I just was not in the best, best headspace. But I still wanted to put some work in. So I just did a few warm-up reps. Really um, make sure that the bar is touching below my boobs. Like right on my sternum. And I'm squeezing my scapulas. So I'm creating an arch with my back. So it's easier um, to push away. So when I do the bench press, um, the be the way that I learned... Um, and study was make, making it, um, pushing the bar away from you instead of just pushing straight up, if that makes any sense. Um, I was really discouraged because I thought I was going to be at least to rep out my PR, and but I couldn't. But I'm happy with the progress that I did make because I used to not even be able to stand having any weights on it. And here I am, I'm like really trying to get on my head because this morning I was just so anxious. I was just felt so bad about myself. I just... It was not a good morning, but I was like, let me just take a moment and breathe and be how be grateful I get to come to the gym. Um, and so that kind of led and set the momentum for the rest of my workout. So start so the next exercise is chest press, um, dumbbell chest press. I took the weight down extremely low because I'm like, well, if I'm not gonna be able to be in the mental headspace to do heavy weights today, I'm going to focus on my form. Um, and with these ones, I really was feeling, I was feeling a clicking in my shoulder area and I'm like, okay, I'm bringing my elbows too far down. So I really found the perfect spot on where to hit them at. And I wish I could explain it a little bit better. I should probably should have wrote it down. Um, but I just want to point that out. Same thing with the shoulder presses. Listen to your body. Your body is going to tell you if you're taking it too far, um, read up on articles, watch videos, learn your body because how a professional may be teaching it may be good points to follow, but may not always be what is ideal for your body type. A lot of people don't squat the same way. A lot of people don't bench the same way. Some people need different things to make the exercise effective for them. And that was one thing that I found 
um, in my workout that I bring my elbows way too far down. I pile drive them, essentially. And here's the thing with the um, these tricep push down things, whatever you want to call them. Um, I like to rush it. And I, I noticed through these exercises, like um, my pull ups and my push down thingies, that my grip is so weak. So I really didn't go heavy with the weight. And I really wanted to focus on where and how I was gripping the rope. And then I... From there, once I got a good grip, I said, oh, this is what it needs to be. I went into, okay, where am I feeling this in my muscle? Um, and this arm is a lot stronger than my other arm. I don't know what arm this is. Don't ask me. I don't know my left and right. But um, the doing a single tricep pushdown um, contacts the, tri the head of the tricep a lot better than doing both arms. So this arm it was kind of my weak arm. And this arm likes to, I like, I try to keep my elbows close to my body, but this arm is literally impossible. So I kind of try to have to make, what? I have to make do with what I can do. And the last thing for a burnout, I just did push-ups until failure. Um, I did those three times. And then after that third time, I was just kind of done. Um, I kind of laid there on the floor and then I'm like, I realized how nasty the floor was and I got up. Um, but it wasn't the best men day mentally, but um, physically we did make some progress. So I'm kind of proud that I showed up for myself. Um, and that's kind of what matters at the end of the day. Um, and here I am showing off my muscles because flexing the mirror always kind of makes me feel better about myself, even if I didn't have the best workout um, strength-wise progressively, I guess. I don't know how to put it. Um, mentally, I wasn't there, but physically I showed up. And that's kind of what matters at the end of the day. At least I can look back at today and say, wow, I showed up for myself. I went there. I got out some unwanted negative energy, but I showed up. And tomorrow is going to be an even better day. Um, so thank you for watching. Okay, that whatever that was. Day. That was my push day. Push? Yeah. That was my push day workout. I'm not really impressed with myself. Um, as I was going through my workout, I kind of wish I had um, a different variety um, I feel like my push days, I have less workouts scheduled than for any other day I work out. Um, so it was all right. I'm not really impressed with myself. I couldn't even get up to rep. I, my one PR, my one rep PR max, whatever you want to call it for bench press is 75. Um, yeah, not really impressive, but it's okay progress for me it's impressive and I couldn't even get up to 65 to rep it out um I got up to 60 and could rep it out so um that was about it um I tried to get up to 65 I think I have a clip of it but I can only get like three four reps in I'm not very I thought I'd be a little bit stronger and be able to work up to it um, I was really in my head this work I was really anxious this um really anxious today I don't know why but I was um, but that's just kind of how life goes. You feel anxious some days and other days you don't feel as anxious. So thank you for joining me for my push day. Um, and uh, after my bulk, I'm probably going to update my push day. I don't want to change it too much because I'm seeing some progress um, um, endurance-wise, if anything, if not strength-wise. Um, but next week's a new week. So we'll see what my push day encounters then. Say, um, you'll be able to see all my fitness updates on my Instagram. I post religiously on my story, so make sure to check that out. Um, that my username will be in the description. Thank you for joining me on my workout. I hope that you gained some inspiration for your next push day. Um, thanks for tuning in for JFit TV. I think we're keeping it. I think we're keeping JFit TV. Sorry for the lighting, it's kind of trash, but I'm about to get dressed and head on to work and try not to be so discouraged about today um because tomorrow's a new day i don't know what i have scheduled for tomorrow i forgot um but i'm not gonna get discouraged i'm not gonna feel like a failure today because i did get an awesome pump like sorry but i look jacked i don't care um i may not have made progress where i want to on bench um but i did correct a lot of form when it came to my shoulder press and chest press my db dumbbell whatever chest press I went light you're gonna see I went light with the weight because I'll probably talk about it in the voiceover because I was not happy with my form when I went heavy so I wanted to really practice my form before I wanted to before I started moving up the weight so 
I'm kind of happy I did a lot better with my form today than I normally would have. Um, I think that's it. If I forget to mention anything, I'll put another clip in here. But I think I, I think I mentioned everything. I'm not very impressed with myself today, but it's okay. I still have the rest of the day to impress myself, and I still have tomorrow. Not every day you're gonna wake up and be able to impress yourself, um, and that's okay. As long as you showed up is what matters. All right, um, I will catch you on the next video. Comment down below what you would like to see next. This is.